Some boy don't know what the dance say, me a dance up. Me a tell to me, I beg you what up. Hello, hello. Not me running 20 minutes late. I'm usually never late. I'm usually early, but here goes me on the streetcar that's short turning and I can't see to tell that it's short turning until it's short turned. Then I have to walk back, but my hair is so nice. Tell you this story. So I'm on FaceTime talking to someone. 
on my way home and I hear some guy. I can't see if he's addressing me or not, you know, the blessings of losing vision. What do I hear this man say? N-word in the pink outfit. Now, I don't know about you, but I don't address stupidity and you have to be mentally unwell. And then I got close and I realized he built a shanty town out of cardboard boxes. So he's definitely not well. It just sends a little piece of prayer for him. You don't know what happened in life to get him to where he's living under cardboard boxes and comforters mid-July by Union Station. I kept it moving. One thing I'm not gonna do is address crazy. Wait a second. Did they throw oxtail in here too? Because I only paid for jerk chicken. Wow, excuse me. That's nice of him. The rap in other languages throws me off every single time. But Maluma never misses. It's been a minute since I listened and I just said, you know what, Spotify, play Maluma. And now it's playing a whole playlist. Like, you can't throw any. Anybody else in the mix? The part where Usher tickets are like $800 each. I'm trying to go in September. I still haven't got my money back from Janaiko canceling though. And so Ticketmaster does that, I'm not giving them no more of my money. If you didn't know, Aritzia is a boutique that is based from Vancouver. And they ship like Amazon Prime. Cause when I tell you I called the clientele hotline, cause you know they're bougie. They call their customer service like clientele support or something like that. When I called them, it was like 1 p.m. yesterday. The man them downstairs called me to let him in while I was still getting my hair done. And mind you, my hair was done a little after two, so that lets you know. So tomorrow, I got a photo shoot, which is why my haircut came at a perfect time. Oh, remind me before the sun goes down, I have to do a hair lens checkup, and I know that sounds weird to do my lens check after my cut. I'd rather count the length that's healthy versus the length that's grown. I know, most people just count the length period. But I want to create a TikTok showing how well the way scalp serum works because my hair has never grown, grown so fast. And I've used so many things, biotin, different types of gummies and hair supplements. Nothing works like the way scalp serum, and it smells so good when you're massaging in your hair. But I want to show you guys so you actually know that it worked. I had order, ooh, this looks big though. But I have gained weight. If you guys don't know, and I mean, according to my analytics, I'm getting more views from new people versus old people, which explains why I have so little views. If you're an oldie but a goodie, comment down below so I know you're still here. But I bought the, 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 nope, that's not it. No, that's not it. I bought these mid-June, double zero. Because for the longest time ever, I'm the smallest size that Aritzia carries. I've been looking for these pants. I've been looking for a good pair of white pants for two years. I'm one of those people where I have in my mind what I want to buy to add to my wardrobe because I already have so much stuff. So there's a lot of times when things come out, I'm like, wait, I have that. I bought that 10 years ago because, you know, style cycles. But then when I went to go put it on after having it for a month in my closet, it didn't fit. And I was like, is it because my cycle is wreaking havoc on my life? Like my uterus literally hates me right now. Or is it that I just started to gain weight? This is actually ideal. So when I was little, I always felt self-conscious about being skinny. My dad was very lean. So I take after him. Why am I standing like I'm wearing wheels? But anyway, I always used to be super duper, ridiculously self-conscious. I think everybody is beautiful. And that's part of the journey of life is learning to love your body. So I love my body, but I would love to be just a little teeny, 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 teeny bit bigger. So the fact that I can't fit those pants are a good thing. But the bad thing is the policy for sale items at Aritzia is, first of all, final sale, that part. And then you can only exchange for like 10 days or 14 days, I don't know. Because I usually don't exchange or return to items. But then when the pants didn't fit, I'm like, uh, it's been more than a month. She made an exception for me. So I'm happy. Ooh, this, hold on. 
Yeah, this is gonna be way too big because it's high waisted. They're so freaking soft. I actually saw these in the store, but I'm such a weirdo. One, I don't like buying things in the store because I worked in retail. And if you only knew how nasty people are and nasty people trying on clothes. Two, I can actually see when I put something in my cart that it is what I think it is instead of picking up something that I thought it was and getting home and then realizing I have to explain it when I exchange it. Although I have bought the wrong thing or put two in my cart accidentally because you know, life is blind. But let me try these on real quick. If I haven't already done a cutaway, you'll see me come back in a second. And if not, I'll see you when I see you because I gotta edit. I got a lot of editing to do tonight. <sighs> she too mother! You see, there's, there's room. Maybe too much room. I could probably go a size down. I hesitated. I'm like, I think you should get the zero. I think you should get the zero. And I'm like, nah. <gasps> Just checked myself in the mirror. And why do I look like I belong in a Backstreet Boys music video? Back in the day, the boy bands used to rock the all way outfits. <laughs> Hopefully you can see what I was talking about with the length, the clean the floor length. I might actually wear this for my photo shoot tomorrow. Little more time on you. Because they always did this hand motion back in the 90s. I don't, I, I, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. You know, I didn't know until two years ago. That, that 112 song, the man was poking. You could never do that in 2024. Never. What the hell? <sighs> Back in the 90s, when the songs were sung about things that we knew nothing about. Nowadays, everything's bruck up, bruck up, bruck up. I was listening to City Cinderella. I love me some JT. Guilty pleasure, indeed. Tell me why. The girl was saying some things. I'm like, my Christian ears can't. This is a sign of the times. I'm getting old. It's not giving jeggings necessarily. It's got more structure than that. But I'm trying to have a little denim moment this summer to fall. I swear this is like the 90s hand motion. I'm telling you, they always do this. Sometimes the sun can look good, sometimes it looks Shitty. Too strong? Too, yeah, it looks too strong sometimes, you know. This is location number one. Of course, David is always here to help. Yeah. Damn, I never heard about a milk 
horrible breakup ever. You have to like check in on that. If you ever see me with a bright shoe, check the sky, make sure it's not falling. But this is actually before I got my hair straight and clearly because my hair is curly, but I didn't want to start the vlog in my house, so pass Alicia here. Hey! Why? I'm flat footed. I should also add that to my bio. <laughs> Perfect. I wanted to wear these shoes today and tomorrow for the photo shoot. I'm so excited. I was about to put on my Sabo skirt sandals, I love them, but they're not walking shoes. Not that I'm gonna be doing too, too much walking, but depending on which cafe I decide to go to, or at this point, whichever cafe I have gone to and shown you, these shoes, high maintenance, okay? The first time I wore these, I went to High Park and walked for two hours. My feet were jangled. My toes were angry at me. Fourteen ninety-seven. Jesus in heaven. Whoa! Well, I need to get it. Lord of mercy. When did life become so expensive? Every time I go grocery shopping, my heart breaks. And this is Walmart, okay? Like, it's not even like a bougie store. Let me just get my little toothpaste and get it out of here before they ask me for both arms and legs for these things. Which way is it though? 
That's the thing, I can't just look at the signs to see which aisle is the right aisle, so I literally have to go down every single one when they switch up the game on me. That's not it. That's not it. I feel like it should be... Which way? That way. Which way? Okay, definitely not this far because this is pharmaceuticals. Should be, oh, okay, bingo. To the left, to the left, get your whitening toothpaste on the left. But like, is it on sale though? What in the meta is this? I'm trying to show you guys how I magnify. Self-checkout for most places. Did not think about the blind. It gets me every time. Oh, 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 oh my gosh. Okay. It has been a minute since I have done a grocery haul with y'all and I figured perfect way to wrap up the vlog because I got a lot. I don't even know how much I spent, but she spent. And this was a lot to carry home. Let me tell you, cream of wheat. You know, Caribbean girl, of course, coconut water. I'm hoping tomorrow's as hot as they say it will be, but that's gonna be a new vlog for you and me since we're gonna do things a little differently. So I can't wait till you see. I need some more soy sauce. You saw me get the olive oil, and I actually did good. I didn't even check my list, but I'm pretty sure all toothpaste. Bio for the bio. It's actually end per spread. What was I saying? Mince. Fresh bread, white vinegar, gotta keep that chicken clean, basil, pasta. It makes for the quickest, easiest meals for work. Porcini, regular, deg regular, regular white mushrooms, peppers, long young, onion. Test my French by calling everything that's left en français, s'il vous plaît. But I've already failed because I don't know what pesto is in French. This would be bouillon because that's already French. Un autre pesto. Hey, d'accord, d'accord, d'accord. Brie. Okay, that's a cheat code because brie en français. Pato. I don't know what that accent was, but that was not French. I want to make a charcuterie board, which is why I got some soppressata, which I assume because it's Italian, you would call it the same thing in French. Zucchini? I don't know what this is en français. L'oignon vert? Jean Bleu. No. I think it's just... This is messing me up. Ginger, I think, is Jean Bleu. Pomme de terre! I remember potatoes from... <laughs> Great for French. We didn't learn anything about cilantro, so I don't know what that is. Is it actually spinach? I can't even say. No, there's an E. Espinard? Are you serious? I didn't know that. Espinard. Garlic is not garlic. Garlic is probably not garlic. Broccoli is broccoli in every language. Okay, maybe not every language. Thank God none of my French teachers from grade four to 12 are watching this. <laughs> shame, shame, shame. Plantain. If you call it plantain, I wanna know what you call a mountain. I can't just keep calling things an English word with a French accent. Lettuce, I know it's not that. That's grocery shop number one and done for the week. I'll probably go again tomorrow to another more expensive supermarché because there's certain things you just don't wanna buy from the budget grocery store if you know, you know, so. I don't even wanna know. Like I said, when I zoom in and I see what that receipt says and I'll know how much money I spent tonight with the way, I should buy a grocery store because there's big money in that. Forget stocks and real estate, buy a grocery store. You saw, I didn't get any meat, no meat. I have some chicken thighs and chicken breast in here to last me a good little while. And I've got shrimp in the back of the back of the back. But. That's that on that. I hope you guys enjoyed spending another week with me. Until the next time, stay safe, stay sane, stay blessed. Love and later.